Hello YouTubers, long time no personal see. So I noticed a sort of like negativity in some of my videos. So today I'm actually gonna talk about something I like. <laughs> Last month, I set myself the challenge of reading the whole Aragon series in one month. And I was successful. 1,918 pages in one month. Okay, I know it's not that impressive, but I had to do schoolwork at the same time and I was still successful. So let me just say how much I love, love this series. I have read Aragon three or four times, I think. Eldest three times and Brissinger twice. Christopher Paolini, the author, please hurry up and finish the last book. I'm desperate. Okay, I know that sounded wrong, but I am. So there were supposed to be three books in the series, but the last book, Brissinger, had so much stuffed into it that he had to go and make four. Stupid Aragon and stupid promises. So, the actual plot. It's about a farmer boy named Aragon who lives in the age of the tyrant king Galvatorix. So, this normal farmer boy finds a dragon egg and it hatches for him, which makes him become one of the legendary long lost dragon riders. And that's all I'm telling you. Seriously, go read the books. But I've seen the movie and... Don't even go there. The movie was... So I noticed a sort of like negativity in some of my videos. <clears throat> Enough said about that. So out of the three books, I would have to say that Eldest is my favorite. I love all the power-ups and the elves and OMD. The thing at the end First time I read through this book, I, my heart was literally like beating quickly as I was reading the thing at the end. Next, I would have to say my favorite is Aragorn. It's the beginning of an epic journey and just the start of the whole thing. And then, Brissinger. Now, this doesn't mean that I don't love Brissinger. It just means that I think the other two are slightly better, but they're still all like at the top with like Harry Potter and other awesome books like that. I sort of consider Brissinger to be a sort of prequel to the last book, which is going to be epic. And for a prequel, it is pretty epic. Uh, what in my eyes makes a good book? Because there's no point in me going on and on and on about these good books if you don't understand what I think is a good book. A good book for me is a book that when I'm reading it, I forget like about the words so that I like see the images in my head and when I think back about the book I don't see like loads of words and stuff like that I actually see the images of what happened in my head I'm not crazy and there are not a lot of books that can make me do that this series has made me laugh it has made me angry it has made me sad and it has made me happy at times it is so good the second time I read through Brissinger I had actually forgotten about the twist at the end, so when I read it again, I was like, OMD, all over again. It was so good. And some of the stuff in the book are just, in the books, are so clever. Warning, spoiler ahead. If you are planning to read them, just stop the video now, stop the video now. Throughout the three books, Galvatorix, you never see him. At the end of the third book, you know, I realized that I've never actually heard him speak. I never, like, met this character. I felt like I knew this character Galvatorix, but all I knew about him was what other people in the book had said about him. So I don't know him at all, and I really, really look forward to like meeting this character in the forefront. So smart. So I want to challenge you, yes you, to read this book in one month like I did. It's seriously not that difficult. I managed it with keeping up with school and essays. And and having pauses like in between the different books and even if you don't read it in a month please just read the series it is really good and i hope some of you decide to read it if you have read it please let me know what you think down below 
not in my pants and um, overall I think you should do it because you're worth it and go away go away oh my days I'm freezing oh my fingers are freezing off oh it's so cold oh it's still recording ah okay <clears throat> So the actual plot, it's about a farmer boy, and this boy finds a dragon egg, okay, and this bo normal boy Aragorn finds a dragon age, <laughs> dragon, egg. dragon age is actually such a good game, sorry, <clears throat> and this normal farmer boy finds a dragon age, oh my goodness, I'm like a sparkly vampire, ah, look at me, sparkly in the sun, sorry, <clears throat> actually, I'm trying, I haven't done this in really long, I'm... so this normal farmer boy,